All right, good evening, everyone. And thanks, thank you for coming to our ADDI California chapter meeting. Uh, we haven't met for a little bit. Uh, and that was on purpose. Uh, my name is Lady Alicia Hamilton. I'm your chapter chair for California. I know others will be joining and this meeting is being recorded. So uh, if you did miss this meeting today, hope you'll see the recording and we'll be following up accordingly. Uh, but in terms of our meeting, we had not met for uh, I think a couple of months, really because we were waiting for some clarifications on how things were going to proceed. And honestly, I don't like to have meetings for the sake of having meetings. I like consistency because that's good, but just meet to, because we said we we're going to meet. If there's, there was nothing really to tell you because we were waiting for clearances on some things. And so now that those things have been done and we're moving forward, our meetings will resume and there's a lot of exciting things happening. So again, I thank you for your, uh, for your presence and, and your continuous contributions on behalf of Her Excellency, our founder and president, uh, Ambassador Arakana Chahimboy Kwao. Okay, so with that being said and, and, and just saying hello um, and having others join as they come in, where we left off in our last meeting uh, were a few things. We were talking about the sectors and how ADDI was uh, structured. And with that, there was a question about how people could submit their projects uh, and, and how things could move forward. So putting a pin in that, we needed to get clearance on how that was to be handled, and then who the contact people would be. So I'm gonna start with, with that. Um, I think everyone here has been privy to the ADDI structure, but just in case there's someone looking at this for the first time and they're not as, uh, have not been a, have not seen this, I'm gonna go ahead and, and share that first so you can see that. Okay, so let's see. And Candy, if you can keep an eye on the waiting room, I just let in uh, Mr. Kabila. Okay. Uh, yes, I will. Thank you so much. Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna share my screen and, and just briefly go over the, the sector uh, setup or how the company set up just in case there are people who are seeing this for the first time and uh, are not as familiar. And this is a document that I sent out to everyone. Um, I can send, it's, it's our activity map and how everything is set up. Uh, and again, this is a uh, follow-up from our previous uh, meetings where you have, we had discussed, discussed the ADDI structure. Uh, so you have your, our institute, we have nonprofit activities and for-profit activities. The nonprofit activities are with the African Diaspora Development Institute, ADDI. Then there is the ADDH, the African Diaspora Development Holdings. That is the for-profit side of the company. And then what supports the work there is the work of the chapters and the sectors. So the sectors are divided up right now into uh, 19 sectors, which I'll be going over in just a second. Each one of those sectors has a sector leader. So that sector leader will basically handle that sector internationally. Okay, uh, and I'm gonna go over those sectors and the leadership. So if you have uh, projects and uh, interest, communication wise, you're welcomed to contact or email your sector leaders. And I will share that list with you as well after uh, this meeting. Uh, so we have the 19 sectors and then those uh, sectors, uh, that, that's how the, the different divisions of the company is handled as far as projects and, and work in building the Africa we want. You know, our mission is to bridge the gap with our people on the continent of Africa and those of us of African descent who are around the world, having all of us come together to pool our 
resources, our education, our interests, our finances, because at $3 trillion a year that we spend, we can concentrate hopefully our dollars and look at doing things for the benefit of people of African descent, especially when, it, when you look at what comes out of the continent and the building of the continent. So the, the membership of the organization is divided up into the chapters. There are international chapters, and then there's uh, domestic chapters here in the United States. So these are the nonprofit activities. Our goals is to look at getting a first right of refusal from people who want to do business with Africa in terms of building Africa, contracts, roads, infrastructure, et cetera, that the people of African descent would get the first right of refusal because we know right now that the Chinese are on the ground, they're sucking up all the, the, the contracts, ready, willing, and able to put their money and things down, as well as the Europeans have been there, the Americans, the Arabs, everybody's there except us, the people of African descent. So we want to organize people of African descent so we can build the Africa we want for us as a people, as a whole. And then having that first right of refusal from the uh, countries and in, in, uh, the 55 countries on the continent uh, to, to look at people of African descent having that opportunity. The problem has been, they will say, where are they? We don't know where they are. And so one of the things that we have done, we'll talk about projects in a moment, is we're building a directory of people of African descent globally through ADDI. So I'll put a pin in that and come back to it. But that's what this first right of refusal is about. The sixth region of the continent is not as of today officially represented at the African Union at the table. So when they have their Congress and they do their decision making, there isn't an official representation of the sixth region. And so that is one of the goals of ADDI is to amass enough people where we can officially represent uh, the people of African descent globally. Reparations, we know, is a global discussion on all the atrocities and horrible deals that have been done with the continent of Africa and her children for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, that there should be some kind of reparation globally. Uh, some countries have admitted to this. Uh, Liverpool, England, for example, was one of the first, I think, to really say, wow, this is messed up. I'm really sorry. But even most recently in France, uh, one of the uh, ministers there said, you know, if it wasn't for Africa, we'd be a third world country because what they make their money off of is not grown and harvested on their own land. So reparations is a real discussion. And I don't know if any of you have seen the... Um, what do you call it? The, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Benjamin Crump, who was the person who represented George Floyd's family in their, uh, in their case, and many people who have been accosted or killed by the police, led a discussion on reparations with attorneys. And that is an ongoing discussion. So I'm assuming everybody has joined. As a member, you're able to go back and look at some of those uh, programs. In humanitarian projects, there's training and education, youth empowerment, women empowerment, legacy projects, and then the million dollar campaign, which I know that, I'm not sure if the person is here, but there was a thing about, this should be a billion dollar campaign. We need to look at it even to be greater than that. The for-profit activities all fall in the areas of the sectors that I'm about to show you, but they're high-speed rail projects, highways, airports. I mean, like there was a request. Does anybody know how to build an oil refinery? We need it for the eastern region of, of Africa on the coast. Um, so these needs are there at the table. But again, they're still not organized to be like efficiently and sufficiently able to satisfy the request for projects. The Travaco project is the one, uh, the highway going across the belly of Africa. The Wakanda One project, which we will also talk about shortly, is in Cape Coast, Ghana. Uh, and ADDI will be doing a trip there uh, the end of August. Um, so these are some of the projects that are currently, or activities that are on the table now being developed. But in terms of sectors, um, 
These are the various sectors on this side. I'm not gonna read them all because you have this document and I will share it again. Uh, but it also shows you how, like for example, in IT, that bridges off to social media, digital banking, cryptocurrency, and all of that. So that's what, what this is here. And then we have chapters that are broken into regions. And then this is the big picture. And so this is the uh, overall map of the organization and how it's structured. And so are there any questions about that before I move forward and share the, um, share the, sec the sector contact? Is everybody good? And I'm proceeding, okay. Um, I just got a message from Linda saying that she can't get in. Uh, so, Candy, are you still here? Oh, yeah, I can't see the waiting room. I've been, I see. Oh, you're not seeing it? No, I've been trying to, um, I didn't want to interrupt you. You were on a flow, but. Okay, sorry. No, no, you're fine. I just, I see a, only in the met, the chat area. I don't know. Oh. It says can't get in. Says host in another meeting, making me for asking me for a I, password. I just sent her the link. I think she she had the wrong link. What's next? Oh, okay. Saying? Thank you. <clears throat> oh, I just asking her for a password. Let me send it to her. Yeah, it shouldn't do that. Just send. You should have to just link. Check the link that Safrina is sending to you. Period. You should just have to click that link to get in. Period. Thanks. Period. If you want, you okay. can also add me as. Host, I can see. I don't know if that's platform. Thank you, Bradford. I will do that and make. Calls. Yeah, maybe because it's on my phone. I'm not sure why I'm not able to. Okay, I just did it for you too as well. Hi, Wesley. Good to see you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so move it. Hi, Miss B. Good to see you always. Let's see. All right, so let's go to context. This is one of the questions that came up prior to us taking a little break. Um, and so I'm going to share this now. And I know Bjorn, this answers a question you just asked me about in IT on, on how to reach out to um, Jote. Okay. And so this is the contact for all of the sectors. These are the 19 sectors. And you can email those uh, sectors and reach the sector leaders through these email addresses. So the digital technology beyond number 14 is it at radi.org. Okay, and so I'll send that uh, to everyone in our, uh, in our follow-up email as well. Okay, um, but yeah, that's what will, that's how that's gonna be handled. And so if you have a, a project in any of these areas, then you can uh, email them and likewise, when you sign up, if you signed up before now, the actual sector was not on the website, but we're adding the sector as one of the fields on the website membership sign up. So everybody will be in a sector. And so if there's a request for something in a certain sector, everybody in that sector, anybody related to that sector for the subsectors, we'll get that information because it's really grown quite a bit. This is, company has grown phenomenally in less than a year with over 15,000 people and, and projects all over the world and, and attracting you know, amazing people of African descent, which needed to happen. It's just our time. It's just our time and our season. Um, yes, but, um, I have a question. So you can yes. be in more than one um, sector at one time. I mean, one person can be in more than one sector, right? Yeah, I think there's the primary one and then the subsets mm -hmm. of that. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. okay. it wasn't limited. I didn't have any limitation. Now, how that's delineated in the queries and all, I don't know that part. So that's something to ask uh, if it's, or if it's added separately. But yeah, there's, there's definitely people who are expert or have education and experience in more than one sector. Yeah, okay. Okay. The lady speaking seven languages. That's definitely. I mean, what, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is a jewel. She is that's a jewel. Awesome. But you know, so many of my friends in Africa speak at least three. You know, they'll speak their native language, English, plus, you know, you know, yeah. French or you know yeah. something else, Portuguese or you know Spanish yeah. or something. Colonization. So, 
they did that to yeah, us. Right. We had to learn French. Right. We had yeah, we had to learn French in Liberia. I know a little bit, but not a whole lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no practice. <laughs> yeah, I, I will say I'll give Bamboo her props now. She did a translation from one of the um, meetings that had to happen in French because we had all these French speaking people, especially in New York, up in the upper upper uh, you know part of the country there, New York and the surrounding tri-state area. They all speak French, and she, wow. because of her work, they mm-hmm. established a French chapter of ADDI on the East Coast. Oh, awesome. wow. So, so props to you, and thank you so much because she is absolutely amazing and very humble about it too. So, we're we're grateful for you. Okay, so I'll share this list with you. So, in the future, if you want to uh, submit anything, you will do it through these uh, sec- through the through the sector contacts. Okay, so finish that one. Um, now, so next up, so there's no questions about any of that. We can move on, we're good. Okay, so in terms of projects and updates, since now we have uh, a way to uh, do these projects and we know how we can move forward, uh, I'm so pleased to share, and I think you may have read some of this, but so pleased to share that our own Safrinia Cassell, that project that she suggested about having a directory really just for California so we could connect with each other, has grown into this wow. project for the entire company. <laughs> for- That's awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So congratulations, oh. Sophronia, for uh, submitting that and, and for that being something that's going to bless the entire ADDI, ADDH organization. And so what we're doing with that is putting together, and I think you've seen oh. the flyers already. So please share, share, share the flyers. We want to get as many people in this uh, directory as, as, as possible. So how this is going to be set up is everyone who is a member will be included with just their name and their sector email, potentially, we've had some discussion about that, but just a general scope of all the membership, unless you opt out. So we'll look at those legalities and disclosures. But then from there, and remember this this, this directing will be about ADDI, the mission, vision, and goals, the chapters international, the national chapters, the sectors, the leadership, and then our basic listing of all of us. So we can find each other according to sectors. Everything's gonna be broken down by the professional sector. But then if you would like to have more information available, there'll be an option to have your address, telephone number, website, and social media. And then from there, actual ads, you know, business card size to half page, a quarter page, half page, and full page ads. So this will actually be the first directory for ADDI. So it will be the inaugural directory of the ADDI membership. And the purpose is for people to be able to connect, networking, of course, but then also when people say they're looking for engineers, they're looking for tech, they're looking for teachers, they're looking for doctors, that they can come to ADDI and find these professionals listed. Because part of getting this first right of refusal is knowing where we are. And so this directory will be a support for Her Excellency being able to then trying to negotiate and open up opportunities for us as people of African descent and getting this first right of refusal with countries who need work done, like I showed you in the charts, all kind of stuff, all over the continent. Okay, so this will be a start to that. Uh, So there'll be the listings for advertising as well as your professional listing in this directory. We're still working out some of the specifics and details, uh, more to follow, but definitely I think this is, uh, quite a privilege for us to be at the ground level of something that could potentially really change a lot for people of African descent globally. Okay, so Frenia, you have a comment? I'm just, I, I guess I just, I just wanna say thank God because he gave me that idea. And I, I mean, I always been trying to do this and I couldn't find the right people to 
get it done with. And he's, and God just kept saying in my spirit that you just keep going. Don't stop giving up. Don't never give up. Just keep going. And now it's really coming into being, and this is such a blessing. This will really get us going, really. Yeah, so thank I think you. so too. Thank we just you. have to be careful because there's, you yes. know, little nuances of legalities about how you handle people's information. But fortunately, right. we've got experts at the table who can guide us and, and give us the, the, the expertise and guidance that we need. Yes. Um, Ms. Hall, mm -hmm. thank you so much. Her question was uh, deadlines. And so we're going to introduce this uh, opportunity to the membership on May 29th at a Zoom meeting. Um, I think you should have, well, you should have received the flyer, but just in case you haven't, I'm going to try to share it if my computer cooperates, because sometimes you press buttons and sometimes it doesn't always do what it's supposed to do. Okay, where to go? There you go. All right, so this is the flyer. You should have received this flyer already. Please share it widely, but this is our launch event. So we're introducing this on the 29th. That'll be nine o'clock on Pacific time, 12 p.m. Eastern time. And that will be the launch. From there, people will have 30 days to opt out. If they don't want to be included in the directory, they don't have to be, they can opt out. And then we'll have 60 days from there, I believe, to produce the first one that we release. The target is to release it around the formal release of ADDI. So ADDI has not had its official uh, launch, which is targeted now for August. Uh, and we wanna get the directory coming right about that time, middle to the end of August. Now, at the end of August, ADDI will be making its first company trip to Cape Coast, Ghana for the Wakanda City of Return project. I think everybody is familiar with that, but just in case, I'm just gonna give another brief Let's see, Wakanda City of Return. Let's see, um, and then share. And that's that, okay. Okay, so Wakanda City of Return project. We've talked about this before and it's actually taking shape. It's super exciting that it's actually happening. I mean, it's just so wonderful to have an idea and then see it like take root and then grow and then blossom into these beautiful opportunities. But the Wakanda City of Return project, um, and you're all welcome to join this. I think you should have received this flyer. This is gonna be the 22nd, which I think that's Saturday, right? Saturday at 11? Yeah, Saturday at 11, which is eight o'clock uh, uh, Pacific time. Uh, you're welcome to join this too. If you go to our ADDI.org forward slash Zoom Expo, you can register for this event. But this project is the smart city project that we've been talking about where we would have everything self-contained that you could possibly want, all high tech. Uh, they're taking a hospital and refurbishing it to be state-of-the-art high tech. Same thing with the local university uh, and all kinds of stuff, oh, everything you can possibly, in the sectors, in the, in the 19 sectors that we're talking about, all of that will be represented in the Wakanda City of Return. So that is in Cape Coast, Ghana. And the trip is from August 27th to September 5th. What I don't know is if people can buy their own passage if they just wanna go. Uh, I know this first trip is for the sector leaders to connect with the people on the ground in Cape Coast for the purposes of establishing their relationships uh, at, you know, with, with the um, community there. And then they're also going to do an expo, uh, a business and professional expo. So as you see here, come join your brothers and sisters in planning the expo of a lifetime at the City of Return in Cape Coast, Ghana. 
Oh, I'm sorry. For more information and register, raddi.org forward slash Wakanda Expo. I'm sorry, there's another one at the bottom. I don't, that's a little confusing. So you've got both of them here. Uh, I'll put it in the chat for you. And if one doesn't work, try the other one. <laughs> so, but it sounds like from this invitation that it may be open for people to go if they wanna go. If they're saying, come join us in planning, you would think they may also extend the invitation. So we do have a, a very reputable and strong travel partner who has done, uh, actually she started one of, one of the founding members of the IPADA was the Pan-African Travel Association. Um, so it can certainly be handled. Um, and remember though, this is the first of many trips. We will be doing many trips subsequently with the work happening with ADDI to the continent. So if for some reason, August is not possible, there will be future trips, but I will find out uh, and revert back to you if people can get a passage to go on their own if they're not part of the planning. But I will put this in the, in the chat for you so you can register and see what's going on. They've been meeting regularly. Uh, and as you can see, we've got the, the, the mayor, the, the ministries, all, you know, very high up, the university people, doctors from the area all uh, participating in this Wakanda One project with, with ADDI. So if you like to do that eight o'clock in the morning on Saturday, <laughs> you're welcome. And then the following week, we will have our launch event for people announcing basically, we'll just be announcing the, um, the city of, I mean, uh, the directory project. Okay, so I'm gonna put these, uh, I'm gonna put these registration emails in the chat for you. Uh, and in the meantime, I hope I answered your question, Ms. B, about a deadline. Does that answer your question? I can't hear you if you're saying something. Yes, indeed. You're always right on point, Lady Alicia. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. I'll try to live up to that. I'll try to live up to that. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm putting the Wakanda One meeting information there uh, in the chat. Are there any other questions about, about this or anything we've talked about so far? Okay. So I put the link for that uh, meeting in the chat for you. And then I'll put the other one just in case, because uh, I apologize for that. But like I said, it's probably the Wakanda Expo link, but just in case. I think if you go to the Zoom Expo, it lists all of the um, all of the projects that, or all of the events that are going to be held, as opposed to going directly to the Wakanda one. I think that's how that is, is set up. Okay. All righty, so um, let me make sure that uh, there's anything else. We talked about the, uh, the directory project. You've got that. Welcome to the Lewises, Dr. Vera and Charles. Ooh. God bless you, so, so good, so glad to see you. I yes. have a recording of this, so anything that you've missed, I can, I'll share uh, afterwards in, in the recording. Thank you, yes. please do. Okay, well, we'll definitely do. Okay, I'm just checking to see if there's anything else that, that we have missed here. Um, let's see, here we go. Okay, so the chapter update, sector update, directory project. Okay, and any other business. Okay, so we have actually covered pretty much the topics that uh, I wanted to give an update for our, our California meeting. So last things in terms of um, chapter biz, we're looking to expand the domestic um, uh, chapters for ADDI. Right now, actually, there are more international chapters than there are domestic chapters at ADDI. And so if you know people in other states who are looking to be a part of this, I know I think we have a few people who attend 
our California meeting who are not in California. I don't know if they wanna start a chapter, but we are looking to expand um, the uh, domestic chapter. So just putting that out there. And then the focus over the next couple of months will be this directory project. And uh, anyone who is interested in contributing your expertise, uh, you're welcome to email me. You all have my email and let me know. Uh, meanwhile, if you have other interests uh, outside of that, we have the list that you'll have to contact the sector leaders. So that would be the way to proceed moving forward. And then, you know, we'll just keep going from there. But like I said, the next project, or the, the project we're focused on now in California is this uh, directory and then making sure everybody has the contact information that they need to do what they wanna do. So. Yeah, we'd like to know more about the business cards and the different size of the pricing. We need to. Yes, yeah, so we, we're out. making a proposal for mm -hmm. that in terms of the, I can tell you the sizes today. Uh, mm -hmm. I need to get clearance on the pricing. Okay, okay, so you'll, the directory will have the basic listing, which will be your name, the sector you're in, and your profession. Perhaps the email too, we're still working on clarification on how that's to be handled. Okay. But if you wanna upgrade, you can upgrade to include your address, telephone, website, and social media as like a text kind of a line ad. Mm -hmm. Then there's the business card size, quarter page ad, half page ad, and full page ad. The directory will be uh, published online probably as a PDF at this point that you can download and have a copy of. Mm -hmm. And we're still working on like what other options as far as having it be an app, who has access to what kind of information all that. So we still got a lot of work to do on that part. Mm -hmm. But for the basic structure, we know mm -hmm. we will have a published directory that will be available to the members and the, everybody's included in the basic listing unless you opt out of that. Right. And then, like I said earlier, the purpose is to uh, give her, Her Excellency, the opportunity to then show the presidents and the people mm. that she's working with across the continent that we have the people. Here's our diaspora yes. here. Let's start with these guys and keep, keep it going and growing mm -hmm. to build the Africa we want and have a place to find professionals of African descent and stop giving it to the Chinese and the Arabs and everybody else. Yes. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Yes, we need that. Yeah, yep. they're taking yep. all the money, but you know what? I was just thinking. I so said, all the nails we do, all the all the massages we do, all the hair we buy. Those Three people trillion are taking dollars. That same money and buying up Africa with it. That's our money, you know, and that hurts because it's like we are using it for frivolous things. Why they buying us buying up the continent? Even California, yeah. they're buying up California. I mean, just everywhere you go, their bids are so high that you can't yeah. even compete with it. But it's all That's from so those, sad. every time you're doing your, your pedicure or your medicure and you're giving it to an Asian person, seriously, or the food or the Chinese rice, you're giving it to an Asian person. Like you just say, go buy Africa. <laughs> you know, <laughs> take yeah. this money and buy Africa with it. <laughs> well, at least it's a start. Yeah. I would even surprise you because... Uh, as I was saying today, I'm uh, one of the specialists on uh, information education and communication with uh, on the COVID right now. I was a community outreach and engagement specialist that I did for years with Doctors Without Borders all over the world. And uh, three people call us today for a meeting and tell me, how do you do your stuff? What is, how, where is your flyers? Because they hire them, they are not us. Oh. hire them and they subcon want to subcontrast us but they don't know where I'm from they start <laughs> asking me my material can you send us some material my question is where is your budget I'm not going to mm. send you something that we create right you having funding for us to move on and my boss, the, my co-worker was listening. She was laughing because I said, I, I told her, don't laugh. It was at the end of the program after questioning us. I 
send them the answer that I want to give them, they will never speak the same, they will never connect to the people the way we connect with them. We know the, the rules. We know that in African country, you don't go straight and ask the question. You have to turn around and we have our way of doing things. I can give you all what you want that doesn't make you reaching out to the population that we want. But when you ask me, you know, you pick my brain and ask me what we create to give it to you for free. That's what they did during years, right? Take our knowledge and asset and yes. of the labels and put their name there mm -hmm. and say they created an African never create anything. Right. Yeah. But well, that's the thing that's so hard. That's what that's what really makes me passionate about this. Because in my opinion, there should not be one hungry child, not one uneducated child, not one child that can't get access to health care in that entire continent. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely atrocious that they yeah. could make trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars yeah. off of the resources of the continent and leave the pennies for the mm -hmm. people. And that ridiculous pact for the continuation of colonization, like what the hell is that? You know? <laughs> so it's just, like it's just time they for like... that stuff to end. It's time yeah, to stop. It's time. And okay. I like to live to see it, but it may be generations before we see the impact of it's our work here now. today. You're still alive, right? It's ending now. We, well, we're I'm just doing saying it now. to see the full impact. I'm hoping that my <laughs> yes. great grandchildren, if Jesus don't okay. come first, that they won't even know about this craziness, that they'll yes. know, well, you know what? My grandmother did something about, or my great grandmother did something. <laughs> about this and that's why we have dual citizenship and we can go back and forth and we've got our home you know in somewhere on the continent we're yeah. setting the stage for the healing okay. to mm -hmm. take place because you know in fairness to us we've been mind screwed for hundreds of years yeah you know yep. look how long it's been that you know we were raised to can I, can I please have a contract who can I please have some money who can I you know all of that mess and it's not our oh. fault to a certain degree what else do we know, you know? But now we've been liberated mentally, which is the new battlefield. I always say that the battlefield today is the battlefield of the mind. The mind, yes. You must liberate the mind in order to really have true freedom. And that's what we're talking about. But to organize it, it takes the work of us today for the yes. benefit of our children and our children's children. So when I say, you know, I am here, I'm glad mm -hmm. that part of my legacy will be that I gave my two cents for what it mm -hmm. was worth. But right. when I think about my children and my grandchildren and my great grandchildren and all that, mm. I hope they will wake up one day and they ain't got to think about any of this craziness. They right. can look at Africa 101 and go, yep, they went through that, but look at where we are now. So mm. we have a lot to be proud of. And I thank Her Excellency all the time for her courage, my goodness, yes. Yes. courage to call it out. You know, because when I heard the, the minister from France saying, yeah, we'd be a third world nation if it wasn't for Africa. I said, you damn skip you are, you know? Yep. And did you hear about them stopping sending chocolate to Switzerland? They said, you ain't yes. gonna take the chocolate yes. out of here, put your name on it, and then send it back to us and charge us five dollars a cup of coffee. Okay. For, 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 for chocolate. You can get your chocolate somewhere else. And we, we don't have to be mean about it. I'm just saying. I love it. It's yeah. about time it's that you said you go get like your local. chocolate from somewhere. Wow, you know, Malcolm like X would have been 90, in and Malcolm take X's birthday is today. He would have been 96. 96 years old, Malcolm X, Who? if he was still oh, alive. Yeah. Yeah. Today's right. his birthday. Right. I mean, right. and people like that paved the way mm -hmm. for, you know, yeah. Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, and all the other people that have paid Marcus the way Garvey. for us to get to you. Yes, Marcus Garvey. I mean, there's so many more, you know. Yes. It's, yeah, we need yeah. to, we need to pay attention to the universe. Mm. Yes, yeah. Well, this is a great time, and they'll be saying that about us. We paved the way for the next generation as well, you know. So I don't know if you guys attended the meeting about picking the 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 faces of the um the card. Did you guys? I don't know if you went to that, but there was a a session on the uh, credit mm -hmm. card for the African Diaspora Development Holdings, and each card is going to have someone of African descent who was formidable and mm -hmm. you know someone that mm -hmm. we recognize on the cover, and they yes. chose Her Excellency to be on the yes. first one. But that's going to be a limited edition, so when you when it comes out, 
you know, go get your, you know, go get, get yours and get in line. Yes. And get it, it's it's going to be a, definitely a, a treasure yeah. to have, yeah. but they're also yes. going to have Marcus Garvey. That was another yeah. choice and Harriet Tubman, et cetera, yeah. and, and people yeah. on it. But the first mm-hmm. one's going to have her excellency on it. Yeah. But we were a part of that. We were a part of that session yeah. to choose who was going to be on the credit card. Thank exactly. you. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So, um, all right. Well, I, well, in life. <laughs> I, do have, I, <laughs> I know <laughs> the, the sun went down as we were sitting yeah, there. The I'm sorry. What, what card was that, that you said that's being released? Yeah. It's the credit card for people of African descent from the Addis Bank, African diaspora and international settlements. I think it is. Okay. Um, but okay. we had a session on that and everybody who attended got to vote on who was going to be on the first set of cards. It's like they're, they're releasing five and the very first one they voted to have her excellency be on the first one. And she, I think she All cried right. I and mean, it was so Great. touching. I don't know if you that were able beautiful. to go, but it was really sweet. Oh, I don't have a copy of it in my computer, so I would share it, but um, get it, that was it one of them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it, it was beautiful. Oh, that and is- so Lori, while you're here, Lori, there was, I had a call today they were looking for someone that did uh, concrete. And I know you were in construction. They were looking for someone of African descent no, who like poured that. concrete. And I thought not about not you, but I hadn't had a chance no. to call you yet. Is that your area? I did. Well, construction is my area, but I don't know a particular sub that is um, African diaspora in concrete. But let's, let's continue. I mean, the whole directory thing is so important. And it yeah. needs to be beyond you know, the members of ADDI. We need to get all our contractors signed up. Uh, I have been working with the Carpenters Union, both the Carpenters Union and the Electricians Union have um, initiatives uh, with the black community, with black youth, recruiting them into um, into the trades. I'm a real big advocate of us um, getting into the trades for a number of reasons, because it, it's a basis for entrepreneurship, but also it's great to be able to build your own whatever. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I, I'm building a database of, of subs and um, uh, members of the unions, member of non-unions in the construction industry. Well, um, thank and congratulations on that because absolutely well needed so we can find each other because that's what uh, Her Excellency has been talking about. But did I hear you say correctly that you do have someone of African descent that you can refer about the, the uh, concrete who has, expert, who has uh, expertise in, in pouring concrete? Lori, I don't know if you you know you're on mute still. Lori, okay, I'll I'll talk to you after because I'm on a mission. Okay, I'm, there you I'm sorry. I'm trying to. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually have noise in the background that I'm I'm trying to no save you uh, from from hearing. But uh, no, I have not yet oh, okay. identified. Right. I do I do have subs in concrete, uh, white boys, but uh, I don't have any. Uh, oh, okay. Not in Africa. Okay. Offhand, who, who is Alicia. it? We can start to search for that if there's an immediate uh, opportunity. There is an immediate need for a um, for a project that um, is launching on Thursday. Sorry, it's coming up pretty quick, but they they mm. want to give someone of African descent the contract for pouring the concrete. And I thought about you. That's that in the like U.S. or is it outside uh-huh. the U.S.? No, no, it's here US. in the states. Uh-huh. Oh wow. Alicia. So if anybody has it, we'll, we'll oh. see. Okay. We'll see. Yeah, I'll check too. We'll check, Lori. Let's check on that. Well, we can check yeah. at the uh, uh, Slauson uh, Western Source Center. They have construction. Every time we have workshop there, they have different workshops. I'm going to ask them. Right. To yes. If, yes. If you, but today is uh, today's Wednesday already. Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday. Yeah, tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, Child, tomorrow. please. I didn't realize it was because they just called me this morning. <laughs> we just, so yeah. called you this morning. Oh wow! But we can find yeah, they just called me this morning. But yeah, um, I'll let them know tonight that we're looking. But they want to give the contract to someone of African descent, and wow. it was just so like yeah. uh, serendipitous almost because that's what we're talking about when they're trying yeah. to find us. It's like, well, how the do I find someone? We want exactly. to do it. You know, yes. that's what the directory is going to be able yes. to do. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. So if you guys can help me out with that, please let me know. And you can give me a call later. Tomorrow we'll follow up. I'll let them know tonight that it was kind of quick. I don't know why I thought I had an extra day. But um, yeah, please let me know. Okay. All right. So is anything I'm else that anyone I'm else has? I'm a Hispanic group, but I don't know the African-American, but we'll check. That'd be chocolate. African, They're looking for chocolate. I know. I know. <laughs> African descent, they are here. They are in California, and there are some who, who, who build also the tram. They are here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We okay, so please, please let me, please let yeah, me know. Tomorrow. An opportunity for him. Okay. My question, okay. Alicia, because I'm raising hands, it was, yeah, we don't, it was to ask if ADDI collaborate. Why I'm asking that, um, to, no, on Monday, uh, USAID uh, asked me for, a, well, ask a meeting with our group to find out uh, about, um, to find out why African are not investing into Africa. Again, they want to pick our brains, right? Uh, and we want to do conferences to have uh, round tables. Of course, uh, I'm not going to let them fly with it without asking them what is the, where is that budget for that? Because if you have to bring people together, it's for us to take the jobs also. Now, my question is, is ADDI collaborating into, with an uh, entity like USAID, USAID, mm -hmm. and uh, how we can do that? Because the guy that is going, that is asking us to do this meeting was at the conference last, last time with doing business with Ethiopia. It was tourism and trade with Ethiopia and is going to Ethiopia soon. I can see Kabila is ready to speak. <laughs> He's going to call me within an hour. <laughs> My brother Kabila. <laughs> Kabila, we work so much together on that. On, on bringing people together to work together. And it's, it's happening because they, they, they cannot they invest so much money but if you don't know the culture, the education, how do you, you address the people, you are wasting time, you know, by trying to be, we call it the cowboys. When we go on mission and they're coming, we say, okay, the cowboys are coming. Let's see what they can do. Because we, we uh, <laughs> the one from there, when we go in That's mission, we know what we do, right? Because we are African, we know how to talk. We, we do humanitarian program, but you cannot do humanitarian program and stay in your, uh, in your big uh, bus with air conditioning, trying to look at the people from inside, you have to get out and talk to I them. I live in a house behind the fence. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know what fence. I'm talking fence about. So high. <laughs> it's so free now, it's too hot, you right? When we, we are- so high since fence, you can't even see the house. <laughs> It's the same when they send me to South Sudan and we were, we were using mud, you know, cow, cow dog to, to, to wow. burn, to make sure we don't have mosquitoes. These people were running around and I say, you have two choice. Or you sit here, you smell it, or you move and you have the mosquito bite you. What do you want to do? Maybe, wow. <laughs> wow. Maybe I'm just, it is, it's all situation like this. I can tell you some hundreds of stories like that. But, um, and Sister Sofrinia can, can say that too. I mean, IDDI, will IDDI be uh, interesting in collaborating with? Uh, I would think so. I haven't heard about USAID. Um, I'll make a note of it to see if there's anything. I haven't heard of anything specific, but I know that, uh, you know, she's very practical. You know, Her Excellency, brilliant when it comes to the strategy and what she's done. That's why it's probably grown so much. But um, if it makes sense and it's going to benefit, you know, Africa and the people of African descent, she's generally pretty open to logical, practical things that will really benefit us. So I would think so, but I don't know of anything now specifically. So I answer the question. USAID is working uh, in Africa for years. So free now. So yeah, 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 yeah. USAID is an agency from the government. They are the one who did Power Africa, mm -hmm. uh, doing business with Africa, invest in Africa. I Meaning it will be Power Africa that we, you know, connect with us and uh, investing in Africa, meaning that will be the meeting on the 24th, where I will, I will attend this meeting on the 24th uh, to see what they want exactly and how we can uh, sit. They want to sit with business owners and who are American, Black people who want to who, who wanna invest in Africa and asking why we are not doing it. Meaning, yes. Right. Me. Well, just because I don't know doesn't mean it's not happening. It could be in another sector because all of these sectors, they meet independently and then we come together. So mm -hmm. it could be that there's something going on that I just don't know, but I will inquire and revert back. That's the best I could do now. Do we know the numbers? Uh, what I mean is uh, when people come to us 
and they ask us why we, uh, African-Americans, Afro-Caribbeans, Afro-Europeans, why we are not investing in Europe. Do we have the statistics uh, I mean, are not investing in, in, in Africa, <laughs> yeah, not Africa. investing in Africa. Okay. okay. <laughs> Do we have the statistics that show our investments? In other words, could we say that uh, African-Americans invest a um, billion dollars a year in whatever? I mean, they have the statistics that show that we're the biggest consumers mm -hmm. uh, uh, in the United States, we we yes. are the mm -hmm. largest demographic that spends money. We do spend mm -hmm. billions money. of dollars Lots every of year yes. yep. on shoes and purses hair. and makeup and all hair, yes. all kinds of things like that. So we we do have the capital to invest, but do we have the data where we could respond and say? We are investing so much in real estate. We're investing so much in this and that. And the other thing I will comment, you know, this comes to mind is um, Lady Adrian uh, made her statement mm -hmm. is that each time we have someone who's not of the African diaspora who comes to us and asks us to speak on behalf of us. I mean, I feel like this has been my whole life where white people have come to me and asked me to speak on behalf of everybody else that's black. But anyway, um, this should be an opportunity to educate them on uh, the atrocities and the devastation that our communities have experienced that have hindered our ability to generate wealth have hindered our ability, the lack of land being probably the number one factor. If you don't have land, then you can't leverage that land to, to generate wealth as other communities have done. I mean, mm -hmm. even now in the United States, we see uh, Chinese, we see Koreans, we see all sorts of folks coming into the United States buying property, developing projects, building massive um, equity because yeah. they're mm -hmm. able to buy land. It, you know, I, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm devastated because we because still cool don't have reparations. Lori. We don't have the mm -hmm. land that we should have. And we haven't you've been able to mobilize to get the land that we should have. And yet people are coming into the United States and um, buying land and then leveraging that land and getting all the equity that is, that comes from, from that land. Right. You know, I, I would like to get more data so that I can rapid fire uh, respond nicely to, <laughs> to people yeah. accurately about, where we are, how we got there. I mean, I know Africa One Hundred and One has mm -hmm. some of that, but Miss mm -hmm. Laurie, we have we have that. You know, uh, maybe you I'm don't, sure mm -hmm. you don't know my history, but uh, those who knows oh, me no. you know that I am the descendant of the first Black congressman in France who was really rough with the French people. Okay, I am from Gore Island, the door of no return, where my dad was a wow. mayor. Oh wow! I was a humanitarian traveling in 22 countries in the world, including Latin America, not being afraid of anything, being the medical and field coordinator on the top of all this. I'm not afraid about their color, white people. And someone told me one time, why well, you are the coordinator? Because you are French. I said, no, I'm Senegalese. Oh, you went to study in French? No, I study in Senegal. Oh, but you have something in French. I said, no. I'm traveling with my Senegalese passport and all the visa that I have, they have to fight to get my visa to get here because of my knowledge. And when I get into those countries, including Madagascar, South Sudan, Burundi, Rwanda, you saw this name, Tanzania, Kenya, Ethiopia, I can go home and Mali, the Northern Mali. I will tell them, you know what guys, what I can do, you can do it. You see how black I am, I'm a woman, I'm not afraid. Take the knowledge and kick them out. This is my, my, my policy. Now, Mr. Kabila know that we did a lot of meeting and conference in doing business with Africa. We have the data. They cannot intimidate me because to be honest with you, 
I I'm smiling, but inside is a is a lion. Meaning, <laughs> I will know what to answer. We have the data. For example, Senegalese people, we send, for example, money in Senegal. We send one trillion dollars every year to our people in Senegal. Yes. Wow. From all over the planet. Oh my 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 my. Meaning for that companies who are sending the money like MoneyGram, Western Union, and blah blah blah. Do we have one name African something? No. Right. When you no. talk to people, yeah, Alicia, when we talk to people, Mr. Kabila, in 2013, we talk about cryptocurrency. Who was the first one? Mm. Well, three mm. of us there talking about that. Where are we today? Mm. The white people took it from our hands. Right? Wow. Meaning we are also, we need also to change our mindset. I know where I'm from. 11th century, mm. I'm the Lebu nation, left Egypt in the 11th centuries, come all over the northern we are the black mm. moors and come to west africa yeah i know my story but when i talk to french guy who's telling me oh your uncle your your great uncle was french i say wait a minute before the french came we were there the french could not colonize us with the labor nation and after that we kicked them out meaning we were there before and we are still here after them this is my message, but we need also to come together because, you know, uh, Sister Sofrenia, the directory, we, Mr. Kabila, we talked about it some years ago at the beginning, yes. right? Yes. We talk mm -hmm. about so many things that we want to work with and doing it together. Uh, we have to rechange, I say, mm -hmm. we have to rewire yes. Yes. our brain yes. in yes. order to do that. They will call us angry, I don't mind, but I'm going to listen to these people. And listen to them and tell them, okay, you want to go to Africa, but why you don't take people who are like us? I asked it to President Maman some years he came to Los Angeles. The president of the Ghanaian Association, Jocelyn, she's like a sister to me. And we'll be on the webinar on the 29th talking about the nurse, the black nurse and COVID. When she allowed me to ask a question, I said to President Maman, why you are hiring European people to come and do the work in Africa, it was in 2014 or 15, he told me, well, we don't have enough expertise. Really? Is it that we don't have enough expertise or you cut your portion of contract when these white people are coming to work in your country? Meaning our leaders also today, all French leader, French speaking country, they are in France today to talk to the president. Why I have to go to France to talk to a president that is not where we are already independent. And if France didn't have us, it will be poor today, but they all run there because he called them and he called them and tell them, oh, we cannot give you more money. But you know how much gold is going out of Senegal? Gold, oil. You're gonna have to hit yeah, France hard. Today the Indian are in Senegal doing the cashew. Ooh. Right? All those we know. But wow. we have the data. But the data that we meet them on the 24, I'm going to put the data on their face. Here you go, sister. I'm thank so you. Proud thank of you. you. We I'm have so to, proud of you. <laughs> we have to share those stories. That's part of the, you know, the coming together and some of the work that I'm doing personally with the network oh. platform is to share our information and stories because a lot of the information is oral. You know, we're right. starting to see more of it shared, but so, so much of our, our testimony. So Lori, just as a uh, follow-up to what you were saying, I'm not sure you may know this already, but just in context about why we're here in the, when it comes to one of the reasons, one of the many reasons in real estate that, you know, when the first federal funded housing project was done in the United States, it was done with the exclusion Oh. of black people so after yep. the war and the soldiers right. came in yes. the soldiers came in and the white folks got <laughs> low interest mortgages they got all kinds yes. of benefits they didn't give our brothers nothing oh my God. and, and nothing. they said you literally you can't we can fund this the feds mm -hmm. the government mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. we will fund this but you can't sell any of these mm -hmm. homes to black mm -hmm. people we were excluded. So, so yeah. where 
the low interest loans were given to 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 to, to white families. So, so white they were able to build equity. They were able to send their kids to school. They were able to you know yes. deal with emergencies yes. and build that up, and then bequeath that to their children and their children's children. Exactly. We were excluded from that whole opportunity. Yes. And then when we did it. get it, they mm -hmm. gave us higher mm -hmm. interest rates. They High gave us ridiculous rate. yes. terms. Yeah. And That's so right. part of the legacy of of institutionalized racism that folks don't mm -hmm. want to admit that's here in America was that we have been having the opportunities, the you know, low, exactly. <laughs> low end of the totem pole, low opportunities, ridiculous interest rates, things yeah, that kept us, so and we still you. managed to survive yes. and thrive Woo. despite all of the atrocities that were done right here in the United States of America. And so when you talk about real estate, we didn't get our 40 acres in a mule. And we were we kicked out of being I want my 40 any, acres. Any, any, any real estate. And we're excluded because they make the they make the redlining now with the credit and, and where you can go and kind of like corrals us into a certain community because we can only buy there because of the yes. profile that they create for us, not the one that we actually have. So I didn't know if you had that, but it's one of the things that yes, frustrates that, no, the heck I, out of me. Yes, and there's a, actually a good video on YouTube that shows all the different dynamics that have impacted uh, Africans um, on the American continent. Uh, either, you know, just one thing after the next, after the next, and the cycles that lead to poverty, unemployment, um, high imprisonment rates, and, and so forth. And so I, I think we're all pretty educated on that. Yes. But the numbers, the numbers are mm -hmm. important. And for us mm -hmm. to have the numbers, just as uh, Lady Adrian had her numbers for the Senegalese memorized. Yeah. I think that it's important that we begin to have those numbers, statistics readily mm -hmm. available to be able to share those statistics. The number of communities in the United States where we did develop, it was not just one Black Wall Street, it was many communities yeah, that were developed by Black people because we weren't allowed to be in their neighborhood, so we created our own oh. communities. And as soon as the buildings were built and the houses were built and the banks were established and the insurance companies and so forth, then they were burned to the ground. Yeah. So even right so now, knowing, with gentrification, gentrification yes. is major. Yes, they're coming into our communities. Look they're raising Katrina. the rent. They're uh, raising the price so that they can come in and take over. Yes. They're pushing us out of our own communities. So yes. it's not like we don't want to invest in things. I, I, I got a video of this white lady. She's a congressperson and she is breaking it all the way down to what they did to us and how they blocked everything. Even with Obama. Obama wanted What's her to. Name? I don't remember her name. I, I will. I'll, I'll have to look and send it to Alicia, and she can forward it to you. Yes, but please. This woman that is breaking great. it all the way down. But I, they were talking about Obama, and Obama tried to elect some judges, some black judges, to be on the ju the uh, Supreme Court. Oh, they, they block them. They block them. They 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 block everything. I used to work in the banking industry as a loan officer years ago. And when a, an application came through there, if they know that it's a black person, they automatically turned it down. They didn't do none of the research, they just turned it down. But it could be a nominal white company that's making just a little bit of money and they would give them everything. They would just, just loan it to them because of the race. But I mean, I've seen, just like, I'm gonna tell you something. You guys remember, for Google, yeah, for us, by us, Anybody oh, yeah, remember yeah, yeah, that yeah. company, Fubu? Mm -hmm, Fubu. Mm -hmm. That was one of the ones that they just, I, I, I did the paperwork on that company in Bank of America. They turned it down flat. They said mm -hmm. they were not, they were, they're not in a position to uphold this loan we give them. So we're not going to even think about it. Those guys went to some, some Ch Chinese, to be honest, they went to some Japanese, two Japanese guys, mm -hmm. saw the, their paperwork, invested in the company, and the company blew up. Mm -hmm. But as far as they're concerned, we don't have the mindset 
to own anything. But it's not that we don't have the mindset. They block it because they fear us so much. They fear us. So anything they can do, there, there was a thing. If you guys get a chance, look at uh, Hidden Colors. Hidden Colors mm-hmm. break all the way down with how they say, whatever you do, keep the money out of the Black hands, the Black families. So how can we invest in land when you get a job making 22000 a year and a person, a, a, a white person, get the same job making 40000 a year? Mm-hmm. And then they say, well, you don't want nothing. Well, how can I not want anything? I got to struggle to do the same thing that you're getting almost for free. So there is a, there's a definite problem here that we, but we got to stop talking about it among ourselves and put it out there. Figure out a way to get it out there because God's people got to take a stand. And we, we've been taking a stand in our hearts and among each other, but we got to take a stand against this system. Enough is yeah. enough of what they're doing to us. But because what we Thank have to you. do also, Thank we you. have to get into, myself, how I made it to, to be here is I, get, I, I play the Trojan horse. I get into their system and I answer, understand how it works. <laughs> and I, I know their language. I, know, I speak their language and I hear and I get into that and I spread it. I, I take what I can take and I share. And the Asian did the same because what they did, the Asian to have land in the United States was to associate with white people to buy restaurants on Chinatown and Koreatown. And they pay the white person and the white person mm-hmm. give them the restaurant. Then they put their money together. They invest on uh, EB-5, mm-hmm. right? The EB-5, mm-hmm. they invest this $500,000 give to another Asian person who come to United States, do the same, he reimburse them the money and they give to another one. The EB-5 is where uh, Trump's son was selling to the Chinese and the Asian people to get in United States. It's mm-hmm. half a million dollars. Who has half a million dollars? Nobody, but people We bring their money together, pay for someone to start it, put his foot here, buy the restaurant, buy a street, and continue to do that and they gentrify all the places. Mm. Let's do it. And this is, wow. this, is the, uh, this is the issue because um, many, I, I work with a number of uh, black investors who are, um, is a growing number of investors who are investing in Africa, um, but um, they have found that they have to do so strategically. Um, they can't do it uh, as openly as uh, as someone else, uh, Chinese or um, uh, Muslims or anyone else. Um, they find that they have to do it strategically. Um, some of them um, are uh, managing uh, hedge funds, um, investment funds, and so they are using uh, uh, other people's money that they manage, but they have to do it strategically because um, if uh, if people find out what they're doing with the money um, to invest in Africa and to empower African people, then, um, then their position is jeopardized. So um, a lot of investors now have to operate in a stealth mode, and uh, and so this is this is a critical area that we need to address in terms of how we strategically move uh, to engage. Um, uh, in the empowerment of uh, Africans uh, in business in uh, all areas. Uh, also, I want to mention that um, uh, my group, the Congress of African People, we have a, uh, a youth resource group. Um, we have many um, uh, people who are uh, in different areas of uh, different sectors, and we are also putting together a database and so um, I would love to connect them uh, with what we're doing to put together um, uh, such a, a database that uh, we have, um, we know where resources are when we uh, need them. So um, I will put you in touch with them and, uh, and let them engage with you to uh, help develop that. That would be great. I would love that. And I, I thank you because awesome. if, we can, if we can get her strategy was if we can get a million people, it would be the representation of one of the smaller countries and uh, comparable to that. 
And so that's why she was trying to target mm -hmm. getting a million people so we can come mm -hmm. with the um, with the power of numbers in, in saying that we had that many. So we can all bring our organizations together to mm -hmm. to do that. That would be that would be wonderful. Mm -hmm. So we can talk mm -hmm. offline. To about For that. Sure. So we'll get some final comments. We've kind of run a little over. It's 818. I know we tried to keep this to an hour, but it's been a great, wonderful, and healthy discussion. Thank you to all of you so much for continuing this on because it really is legacy building for the future of our people. And, you know, we can't do it alone. It's all of us, all of us working in conjunction to unite. Any final comments from anyone um, before we wrap this up? I want to say the key word you just said was all of us, and that's what's been hurting us as a people. We don't work together very well. We always expect the person to be perfect. Nobody is. We've got to be, we got to learn to just accept the person where they mm -hmm. are and just know what they're bringing to the table mm -hmm. is the, the most important thing. Mm -hmm. When I was in South Africa, I was I was asked by some of the South Africans why African Americans don't come to Africa. And I sat down with them and I really explained to them that you see these white people, they give each other all the breaks. They, they, they come and then they send for their family members and they send for their friends. They'll send for everybody. Like the UN jobs I applied for, I don't know how many times, these jobs are given to Europeans on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Just you apply, you got it. So I know the, the discrepancy between us and the reason why we need to do this is because of our youth. We've got to do something because our youth are going to hurt if we don't. So mm -hmm. thank you so much for ADI. It's such a blessing to be here. And thank you for your idea. And thanks to Her Excellency for saying, yeah, go for it. Let's do it for the whole country. Yeah, that's God. <laughs> yeah. Yes, indeed. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, you guys. So we will meet again uh, next month. We're going to resume our monthly meetings. Yep. Um, and so we hadn't met for a couple months. We're trying to figure out, not figure out, but get clearance on where we're going, how to proceed, which now we know. With the follow-up email, I'll send you the contact information for the sector leaders, the uh, structure, organizational chart. You should have that. If you want to sign up for um, Saturday's meeting, you're welcome. I will also revert back on if people can buy their passage to go along with that trip in, in August. Otherwise, there's going to be plenty of other trips. So if not this one, you can definitely be included, I would think, in, in the future. And the 29th, please spread the word. So speaking to what we're talking about, uh, uh, Wesley, the 29th is when we're going to do that offer to everyone to be part of it. Maybe that's the time we can Maybe we should talk before then, but that would be an opportunity to discuss how we can come together and see how we can collaborate so everybody wins. Make a win-win scenario, which is most important. I know everybody has their thing that they're doing, but let's make a win-win scenario. I'm sure we can find a way to do that. And let's not forget okay. about the COVID. The reason why also we have uh, this situation is you know, when we have 57% of white people on the rich area who are vaccinated and we are 27% mm. and we are the one who are dying the most and most affected by that, we need to think why they are rushing to vaccinate and we don't. That is very important because it's the way they did when they came to this continent, when they destroy the nation who are here before and in all continents, right? With a mm. virus, the, the, remember the flu. Wow. With the smallpox, with the, yes. um, mm -hmm. the yeah. yes, wow, hmm. and think something to think about, the huh? and the, yeah, mm. <laughs> anyway, yeah. that's why people are so scared. They're like, what are you doing now? They are malicious. <laughs> if they love us, they will have put us in front. For long yes, yeah. <laughs> try them. All right, well, on a good note, we are here for the right reason at the right time in the right way for the right purpose. And I know we'll do a very good thing for all. So thank you again to everyone. Please, if you have some, you know, videos like you just mentioned, Vera, you mentioned one and also Lori, please email them to me and then we can share amongst each other. I try to in addressing about getting the information out. When I get it, I try to get it out. I don't always get it. So when we do our database project, that should help us 
be able to communicate more efficiently because right now there's not a real system other than not the way we can put it this way we can better our way of making sure everybody gets the uh, communications in a more timely manner so that's forthcoming um so my apologies on behalf of the company for not following up more more expeditiously and efficiently but that's coming we are working on it because we know that that is something we need to address okay so thank you again see you next month or before Okay. Thank you. Bye. All right. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Adrian. <laughs> oh yes, God you bless you. Nice to you. meeting you. Yes, Thank you. Talk to you some more. You and nice meeting so everybody. Well. I'm always absent. Ooh. Today I say I have to sit. If not, uh, uh, Alicia will just come here and drag me in front of my screen. <laughs> have a wonderful day. <laughs> so we talk to each other every time, but it's just Thank like you. Thank okay. You. All right. Thanks, Bye -bye. everybody. God bless. God, God bless. bless. All right. yes. Thank you.